Hello people, and here we are again in my messy lab. Missed it yet? Today I will be doing a review of this Litocala 12 volt 6800 mAh battery, which is composed of, looks like, two series of 18650 cells in parallel between them. I can feel no BMS inside, which is actually expected since it's a very easy configuration and quite cheap I would say. I paid for this uh, probably $12 and it comes with two outputs or inputs or whatever. They are actually in parallel. This is a male barrel connector, this is a female barrel connector but you can both charge and load the battery pack from each of them so you can choose whatever you prefer. They are actually the same connection. It came with 11.6 uh, volts charge. I first just discharged it to the minimum suggested voltage, which is 10.8 volt, and then charged it back again to 12.6 volt. And I know what's the real capacity, since after that I also discharged again and charged again. But I'll let you find out. I have here a battery tester of AliExpress as well. This is a uh, maximum. 100 ampere load and we are going to discharge this battery now which is already charged to 12.6 volts see I went for a 12 volt inverter and here is a stronger light see it is now drawing upwards of 19 watts of power, which is not enough in my opinion because it's also drawing 1.6 ampere and I want a stronger load and this is what we're talking about which amounts to 51 watts and 4.5 amp. It's now at 11.24 volt. It was 12.3 before with a 19 watt light. So it's definitely putting stress on the battery pack. Yeah, well, let's face it. Uh, 50 watt is too much. I went back to the lamp. So I found an even better load, which is an old incandescent bulb lamp. It is a 25 watt lamp which amounts to a total of 29 watts together with the inverter. So now there's a nice 2.5 ampere coming out of the battery bank. What do we have here? It's a surprise. Down to 10.8 volt. Hey, is that 2000 milliampere hours or so? Let's wait again. Wait for it, wait for it, 50 minutes. 2000 milliampere hours. 2 ampere hours. What? Is it not 6800 milliampere hour? Shouldn't it be 6.8 ampere hours? It's just 2 ampere hours. It's one third of that. Whoa, it's a surprise. Well, actually, no, it isn't. I knew already. I had tested it before. I just wanted to show YouTube. Even Litsukala batteries. This has been bought from a original store on AliExpress. Even little color batteries are fake capacity. So I will open a dispute and ask for at least half a refund. On lower loads, I got up to 2.8 ampere hours rather than 2 ampere hours. So high load, 2 ampere hours. Medium to low load, 2.8 ampere hours. Quite far from 6,800 milliampere hours. I'm going to show you the charging process. I attach this battery meter to a bench power supply. It is now set to 12.6 volt. It is capped to a maximum of 1.4 ampere. Uh, the current I chose is depending on the real capacity of this battery pack. When you have a capacity of, in this case, uh, 2.8 ampere hours, real capacity for low loads, charging or discharging current of 1C equals to uh, 2.8 ampere. 0.5 C, which is the optimal charging current for lithium-ion batteries, is half of that, which is 1.4 ampere, and that's what I'm setting it to. And you see the male barrel connector is now connected to the load exit of the meter, and I start charging it. See, it says over 
2 ampere that would be fine if the real capacity was actually 6.8 ampere hours I'm going to lower it to 1.4 ampere and this way it should take about 2 hours to charge well let's put it to 2 amperes I'm not going to die here so here it is 2 ampere charging current and let's see at the end what's the capacity reported by the tester. So finally the charging process is about to end. The battery voltage is up to 12.56 volt and we see here almost 2 ampere hour of energy has gone into the battery. So the battery has discharged and recharged for the amount of 2 ampere hour which is less than what I found out in my previous testing with a smaller load, maximum 20 watt, actually average 11 watt. In those cases, the energy reserve of the battery should to be 2.8 ampere hours, still way less than the declared capacity. I will be getting a partial refund, definitely. Bye.